So in this exercise, we're just going to look at the NumPy MD array. Uh, we're going to create a very simple two-dimensional array. So you can think of this as a square grid with three rows and three columns. And the first row is one, two, three. The second row is four, five, six. And the third row is seven, eight, nine. So the first column will be one, four, seven. The second column, two, five, eight. And the third column, three, six, nine. We're going to print what that looks like, and then we're going to print some extra information too. Uh, but first, I'm going to import NumPy as NP, which we've already done. So this is my square grid. Now, you could think of this as, a, as geological data, where each of those, uh, each of those elements is a, a grid in space. And that might be the count of items within a quadrant, say, or it could be a mapping onto a well array if you're a microbiologist. Uh, I've got a background in imaging, so for me, I tend to think of this as a very small 2D image, grayscale, where each of these numbers represents the brightness of the of that pixel. But then NumPy comes with a lot of built-in functions on the ND array. So I've defined the ND array here. It's actually defined as a list of lists that I've passed and converted into an ND array with this function, which has returned this array. But the benefits of converting it to an ND array is that I can quickly access dot mean and dot standard deviation and lots of other built-in methods that don't exist on a list. There is no list.mean. There's a list.append and a list.pop, which we've covered before, but there's no list.mean. But NumPy ND arrays have a lot of mathematical uh, methods built in, quick, easy, really simple to use. So here I can just call dot mean or dot standard deviation, STD, and get the mean of the whole array and the standard deviation of the whole array. But maybe my columns and rows are a bit more meaningful. Maybe this is like a very small spreadsheet where each of my columns is a different metric. Well, I can just pass axis equals zero to tell it to calculate the mean of every column, or access axis equals one to tell it to calculate the mean of every row. So the zeroth axis is those columns, and the oneth axis is those rows. And we have uh, an example of of that in this image here. So a list or a 1D array just has access zero. And this could be a list or it could be a NumPy ND array that I've converted my list into. A 2D like the one we've looked at has got columns and rows, and you can also do 3D, 4D, 